With the brand new San Andreas Mercenaries update, the hangar has received some massive changes, making it a somewhat better business in GTA Online as of 2023. So in this video, I'll be going in depth over all of the changes made and so much more. So let's get started. When you log into GTA Online with the brand new update, you will receive a phone call from Ron stating that the hangar has received some brand new improvements to kickstart the business back up again. After this, you will receive yet another phone call from a brand new staff member in the hangar named Rooster. Essentially Rooster is the new and improved Lupe but for the hangar. If you head on into the hangar you will see several brand new staff members placed around. The main staff member is of course Rooster who you can see on the map marked by this icon. If you head on over to him he can source you air freight cargo for $25,000. This is the exact same concept as the special cargo staff members and Rooster will go out and collect air freight cargo for you however the probability and the rate in which the crates he collects will differ. He can collect any type of air freight cargo from the eight possible cargo types in the hangar. The time in which he takes for him to deliver the crates is around 20 to 30 minutes, again very similar to the warehouse staff in the crate warehouses. Now the question is, is this practical? Does this actually make the hangar worth doing? Well, no. This kind of makes the hangar worse. Now with the triple money permanent increase last year, you can get around 5 $5.8 million for each full cargo type. However, in order to fill that up, it would take you a very long time, but the missions are completely free. You don't need to pay anything to source these crates, which is why you get one at a time. However, Rooster will cost 25,000 per crate he sources. So you're losing a ton of profit and saving not an awful lot of time. It's sort of a win-lose situation. You will be spending around 1.3 million sourcing from Rooster to get a full set of crates. So a lot of profit lost, but this could be good if you dislike the missions as it can save you some pain, but it's not really going to save you any time. If you know what you're doing, you can very easily complete a hangar source mission in less than 15 minutes. However, Rooster takes longer than that to source these crates. So the question is, why even bother adding this feature? It saves you no money and hardly any time. It was definitely a very strange choice from Rockstar and it could definitely have been implemented a lot better. For the next improvement to the hangar, you can now actually call Ron on your phone to source crates from any location. If you call him up, start the mission, he will find a crate across the map and you go ahead and collect it. Very similar to Johan from the nightclub. Now with the money making side of the improvements done, let's talk about some quick changes that have been made to the hangar. If you go over to this plane icon on the map when you're inside of the hangar, you can approach this poster on the wall. Now this poster will allow you to spawn at the San Andreas Flight School. I honestly have no idea why this feature was added as the flight school is very close to the LSIA hangars. However, I guess it could make sense for the military base hangars in Fort San Kuro. Other than that, a pretty dumb feature, but either way, it was added and there we have it guys that was all you need to know for the improvements and upgrades made to the hangar in this brand new update if you did enjoy this video be sure to subscribe and drop a like on it if you have any questions be sure to pop them in the comments below and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you all later